What's going on, y'all? Just wanted to give y'all a quick rundown of the push button start. This is the key for it. It comes with a uh, sensor, sensor pad for the key. You basically got to put the key like on it, like not on it, but around it, so it can activate the push button start wherever you have it at. You know what I'm saying? Mine's not up here nowhere, but you can put it where you want to put it. We'll see. It just deactivated. I had it on. It deactivated. So, um, show y'all how it is when you start it. Now you see it beat twice. That means it's activated. First mode is, you know, the accessory, radio, stuff like that. Interior lights. And the second mode, the windows, you know, battery and all that stuff. See the button flashing. And you know it's ready to start. Now for whoever, for the people who have carburetors, you just want to pump the gas three times and then start it. I got fuel inject injected. I didn't start the car all day, so it probably takes twice for it to start. So it's going to reset when you hit it. It's going to go through the same process. Start right up. So with people... People who have carburetors, you can put a push button start in it. You can actually hold this button down as long as as long as you want to the car start. Why you why you patting the gas? Or you can pat the gas if you got a good carburetor. You can pat the gas and hit the button. It's fired up just like any other car.